Hey, we are back. Back with Jason Christie in his shop. If you guys checked out the early fall top 10, Jason's top 10 choices, you're gonna wanna watch this one too because we're breaking down the late fall top 10 choices by Jason Christie. He's really gonna dial into the top five, so I'm gonna let him take it over right now. Give us your top five for late fall fishing, Jason. Number one is a half ounce War Eagle buzz bait. You know, a lot of times this time of year, you know, these big old shad or gizzard shad are gonna get up on the bank. I'm not gonna catch a lot with this. If I get 10 to 15 bites a day, they're gonna be big ones. It just calls up big fish. So we're transitioning into late fall. We're late fall. Give me a water temperature that you're saying, okay, I'm gonna put this up and I'm not gonna throw it anymore. Probably 50. You okay. know, I've caught a lot of big fish, 51, 52, but it starts getting 50 and below, you know, I would probably pick up the next bait. Okay. You know, half ounce tandem Colorado covert spinnerbait. Um, the cool thing about this bait, just like early fall, I can fish it wherever. Um, depth wise, I can fish it on the top, I can slow roll it, docks, anything. And it mimics shad, which a lot of these fish uh, are still eating. Number three, War Eagle Jiu Jigsu Jig. Um, you start getting into late fall, you're gonna have you know some crawfish, uh, you're gonna have some winter time going on, winter time patterns. I can flip docks, logs, anything, rock banks. Give me a trailer choice on that. If you've got a trailer, what's your top trailer choice in that late fall time frame? The yum craw chunk because I don't want a lot of action when that water cools off. I just want a profile and I really like the craw chunk okay. in that. Norman speed in. You know, this is a larger profile bait. Um, you know, if I get on some rocks, some flat rocks, just to cover water, this is a great bait. Um, it has a really tight swimming action. The biggest thing is just let me cover water. The last one is old tried and true Smithwick Rogue. Uh, the reason I choose this is because late fall, even, you know, I'm gonna say late December, you have a lot of lakes where there's already a solid wintertime pattern going on because the upper end of the lake may be cool, cooler than the lower end. I've seen that a lot. And it, in those cases, I wanna choose a wintertime pattern because these fish are way more predictable. And there's, in my opinion, there's not a better wintertime bait than a rogue. Twitch it over the top of brush piles, around docks, and even just on windy banks, you can catch some really good fish. Line size on that one right there. Talk about it real quick. 99% of the time I'm using 12 pound fluorocarbon. Really the only exception is if I'm fishing around lay downs or docks and I may go to 15. Jason just broke down his top five choices for late fall. You guys can see we've got 10 choices here. We want to limit it to five just so Jason can get through those. If you want to check out the entire top 10 and want more information about this top 10 that Jason has provided, go to lurenet.com. You can also see every bait here available for purchase in every color available that's out there. Go to lurenet.com to check it out.